Welcome back everyone, thank you for joining in. Today's video, we're going to be installing this LED light kit that we picked up off of Amazon for this bathroom. Now as you guys can see, we have some remnants. We got a little bit of leftovers of uh, LED strips up there. And that is because the owner of the bathroom here, uh, they had their own setup going on up there. They had their own thing. Uh, but obviously it was all exposed and it had this giant power block connected to your wall outlet, leaving them wall outletless can't have that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna conceal it make it look a little bit nicer and hardwire everything so here's that Amazon kit that I talked about earlier we picked this bad boy up for around $20 and it looked pretty promising As soon as you open it up you are greeted with this very colorful remote control this is obviously what's going to be controlling your LED strips battery included all that good stuff moving on we have our power cable here this is what's going to plug into your wall outlet and that joins into this big brick here, which is the power adapter. So wherever you install this kit, good luck trying to hide that. Then we have our receiver here. This is what joins in on the power block and as well as connects the LED strips. Now those three dangling cables, uh, two of them are connecting tabs for the LED strips and one of them is the sensor for the remote control. Now this being the 50 foot version, they gave us two spools of 25 feet, which was plenty for this bathroom. Moving on to our electrical situation here, I just want to take this moment to remind you folks that as soon as you clicked on this video, you agree that I am not held responsible for any of your attempts or any mishaps that you may have during this process. Uh, I recommend you get yourself an electrician or a plumber, maybe. What we did here is we got ourselves some 14-2 cable, ran that through the wall. We had to breach the drywall because we had some 2x4 blocking in the way, but as soon as we drilled through that, we fished that line out there as you can see, hooked it up to an outlet, we threw a little gang box on that sucker, and now we just need to find where we are going to steal our power from, where we get in the hot. So I probably should have started with this first, but it's always a good idea to test the equipment out before you start slapping it on and making things permanent. Now as you saw, we had our well, power block plugged into the wall outlet. From the power block goes to the splitter you see here and the splitter joins in on the two LED strips now that third wire hanging out from the splitter is your sensor for the remote control which is this bad boy over here now look at this look at all these color options folks you got Roy G Biv in the palm of your hands very cool definitely has a lot of lighting options as well you can change up the pattern we have uh, some fast pace quick changing if you want a seizure or if you uh, want to smooth it out look at that fade in fade out transitions change up the vibe to your shower or whatever you're doing in the bathroom of course you could adjust the brightness of your leds now i haven't really toyed around with this thing so i don't know what those arrows do or really a good chunk of the of the options on this thing but it's an led strip so this is kind of the gist of it So at this point, I am installing the LED strips on our existing molding here only because as you can see below that, the paint's chipping off and didn't want to run the risk. But all you have to do is peel off the backing paper and that exposes the 3M adhesive, which by the way is super strong. Now I'll explain to you in a second why I didn't attach the uh, starting points, but real easy to install these things. Uh, adhesive is really strong. Originally I was going to throw on some cable staples just to reinforce it, but I don't think it's necessary. Now I did end up using both uh, spools of it and just meeting in the center. Now here's everything mocked up. This is the reason why I didn't attach those starting points it, is that it allows us some slack to adjust and put all that stuff away when the molding is all up. But here it is. LED strips are on, functioning. Everything is rocking, ready to go. No issues there. Uh, here we test it out on our switch. Now this was converted from a single to a double. A uh, double switch. We stole the power from the exhaust vent and there you have it, hardwired in, none of that uh, exposed power blocks or anything like that. You still have your available GFCI right down there. Hmm. Now as you can see, Big Cheese over here is marking up our line using a level. Now this is the line that we're going to follow for our wall trims. Now, I mentioned earlier that we're going to throw in some crown molding in order to hide all this exposed LEDs. That way we'll get a much nicer finish, it'll look a little bit more professional and it'll appear a lot cleaner. Before all that though, we're gonna throw on some baseboard trims as uh, sort of as our base. Now this is literally leftover baseboard trims that we had from a Pro Pack, uh, solid pine, obviously primed. All we did was flip them bad boys upside down 
and then lay those down and then we're gonna lay on our PVC composite crown molding on top of that which I think is like 230 or 240 a linear foot so not too expensive the tough part here is probably doing the miter cuts if you don't do this every day I recommend uh, you cut some templates out to avoid some mistakes like I did so here's how that first half came out for our crown molding setup we used the baseboard, flipped it upside down, we nailed that to the walls. But before all that, we used a level and marked our line to follow with the trims. Of course, our walls weren't exactly 100% perfect, so we did have to go off level in some areas to compensate. Uh, so, in other words, uh, just step back and look at it from an eye distance. basic Amazon kit that is scary stuff we got what is this green red white it's awesome we got flashing mode I like this one this one's like a nice fade fade out but man showers are going to be intensified times 10 as well as when you're on this thing too there used to be Two switches, one the light and one for the vent. Uh, we converted that into uh, its own switch and took power from there. We had to open up here because we had some blocking in the way, so some drilling, some wall modifying had to be done. Uh, and then, as you guys saw, we had our, our 14 2 cable sticking out from there. And we had a box, all that good stuff. And that is all it takes, folks, to have these really cool LED lights in your bathroom. A measly $20 kit from Amazon. And then like another $70 for your crown molding. And like 60 bucks for the baseboard trims. And then you're gonna need a couple hundred dollars worth of tools. You're gonna need a compound miter saw. You're gonna need an 18 gauge nailer to name a few. Uh, and then depending on what route you do for the electrical, you're gonna need your tools for that as well. Or if you're smart, you're gonna hire an electrician for that. Uh, but if you are gonna do attempt it yourself, remember I'm not held responsible for any of that stuff. Uh, but remember always cut the power from the panel. But besides that guys, you'll have one of the more cool, unique looking bath. I'm willing to wager guys, you'll have one of the cooler bathrooms out there uh, compared to most. Most people just slap on those LED strips on their walls and call it a day. That's ugly. What we did is we added a layer of elegance on top of that. Look at that. Beautiful crown mold in your bathroom. If you're ambitious enough, you'll attempt it in your bedroom. Now that will look really cool, but bathrooms are awesome too. Small area, easy to work with. There you have it, folks. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and hopefully someone will answer it for you.